at this camera you're watching me on now, and you're probably wondering what's so special. Well, if I say this, track me, the camera will now track me around the room. So I can basically walk anywhere, and the camera knows exactly where I am. Also, it will automatically focus as well. All this is in 4K, but on top of that, you can also do hand gestures. You can even tell it things like zooming closer, and the camera will automatically zoom in close to you without you having to press a single button. Also, at the moment, we're in sort of a low light condition. I've got the lights off in the room, so the only lights are through the blinds behind me. And as you can see, the room is well lit, and you can easily see me in this dark condition. Today we're reviewing the Obsbot Tiny 2, a PTZ gimbal style webcam that's a game changer for content creators, presenters, teachers and even streamers looking for high quality portable video solutions. One of the standout features for the Tiny 2 is its 4K recording capability, which delivers crisp, clear images that elevate video content to professional levels. Not only does it record in stunning 4K, but we found that its tracking is extremely reliable and smoothly follows your movements to keep you centred in frame at all times. Despite its small size and weight, the Tiny 2 does not compromise on power. It boasts a 1.5 inch image sensor and a 50 megapixel camera, ensuring that every frame is sharp and detailed. The camera's 26mm focal length provides a wide angle without noticeable distortion, perfect for everything from streaming all the way up to professional presentations. Performance-wise, the Tiny 2 excels with various recording options, supporting 4K at 30 frames per second, or at HD is able to do 60 frames per second. Its digital zoom uses a large sensor to crop into the image, providing up to a four time zoom without losing any clarity. This mimics the effect of a physical zoom lens on a traditional camera. The two axle gimbal stabilizes video, producing smooth cinematic style movements that enhance the quality of dynamic shots. The Tiny 2's AI features extend beyond basic tracking. They include voice and gesture recognition, which simplifies adjustments and setting changes during recording. For additional functionality, the Tiny 2 includes several specialised modes, tailored to different filming needs. You have desk mode for overhead shots of products or documents, group mode for fitting multiple subjects into the frame and various autofocus settings to accommodate different filming styles and setups. Okay, so we're going to test the tracking, zoom and focus of the camera. This is the camera here. It might be slightly out of focus because we're focused in on the screen. So you can see what's going on. So basics is I can move around and this will keep track of me. It doesn't matter where I go, it will keep track. And it's basically 360 degrees, so it'll go all the way around the room. You've got a few different modes. So that was normal. We've got a upper body mode, which will obviously give you a slightly upper body view. Uh, you can see our camera here. And as you can see, as I walk past the camera, it's still able to keep track of me. No problem at all. You've also got close-up mode, so I'll put that on. So that'll zoom into my nose and you'll be able to see all my nose hairs if you wanted. And as you can see there, doesn't matter where I go, it keeps track of me. So I'm going to go to the other side of the room, just to give you a rough idea if I don't trip over anything. And it manages to keep track of me and zooms in at the same time without any issues. And I can go to the other side of the room and it does exactly the same thing. So it keeps me in focus and tracked at all times. You've also got a headless mode as well. So for some reason, if you wanted it to zoom into your chest area, you can get it to do that. And for some reason, I'm not too sure why, you've also got a pants mode. Well, sorry, not pants mode, but lower body mode. So you can get it to zoom into your pants. You also have some AI modes, or at least they call them AI modes. Uh, you have a desk mode, which is ideal for doing stuff like typing or writing and stuff like that. If you want people to see what you're doing, 
you've got a whiteboard mode. You've also got a hand mode where it will track your hands. So for example, if I move here, as you can see, if I move my left hand, nothing happens. But if I move my right hand, it will keep focus to my right hand and keep moving around the room and keeps track. Ideal for presentations, again, probably writing on whiteboards and doing stuff like that. If you want people to obviously focus on what you're doing, it will keep focus of that hand no matter where you put it. You've also on top of that got a group one, which I'm not going to put it on, but that basics of that is if there's multiple people in the room, it keeps the zoom level and focus and obviously the tracking so everyone can be seen all in one go. On top of that, you do have the manual mode as well, so you can get the camera to move up and down uh, and focus and zoom in to basically anything you want it to do. We use an older version of this camera on our live shows, which allows us to fit two people uh, on the screen at once. And then if for, for whatever reason, one of us is not on the show or we need to focus on one person, we can get the camera to focus on that one person only rather than having in a big empty studio with two seats and only one person in there. I'm currently using the Ozbot or OBS bot camera at the moment, filming in 4K at 30 frames per second. This camera is also capable of doing 60 frames per second if you're running in HD or lower resolution, but it gives you ample resolution and frames per second for a nice smooth picture. And I'm using the built-in microphone for this part of the recording. The same will be also true for the testing of the next two cameras. I'll be using the built-in microphones there as well, and that will be totally unedited. So here we're testing a Sandberg conference cam, which is designed for conference rooms. So obviously you can see lots of people and they can talk back and forth with ease, usually positioned on top of a TV looking over a boardroom table. This camera is capable of HD at 30 frames per second, no 4K and definitely no 60 frames per second. Now we're testing the Streamplify cam. It's a gaming or streaming webcam, which is designed to run in HD at 60 frames per second. Ideal for, obviously, streaming and gaming. So who is this aimed at? Well, it's perfect for anyone from professionals hosting Teams meetings to yoga instructors and teachers who need to stay in frame while demonstrating techniques. It's also ideal for use in boardroom meetings to capture whiteboard presentations clearly. Additionally, streamers who need to remain in the frame constantly and content creators conducting detailed product reviews will find this webcam extremely beneficial. In conclusion, the Tiny 2 is not just for tech enthusiasts, but it's a practical choice for anyone involved in regular video communication or content creation. Whether you're a professional needing superior video quality for virtual meetings or a content creator aiming to enhance your video production, the Osbot Tiny 2 offers a compelling blend of quality, versatility and user-friendly features. Where can you go and meet hundreds of people just like you? Strengthen existing relationships and forge new ones with vendors and distributors and meet some of the biggest names in the industry. Where you will be able to go and see the newest tech and services that you need to make your IT business grow. And there'll be thousands of pounds worth of prizes up for grabs. And what's more, you get all that for a quid. TechMax 2024 will be on the 21st of June at Magna Adventure and Science Centre near Meadow Hall in Sheffield. This year's event will incorporate a live tech awards with evening casino entertainment, meeting areas, demo and interactive areas and 800 other techs just like you. So go get registered now at tftmax.com. Com. I hope you enjoyed this video and know I did. Why not check out one of our other videos by clicking this box up here or this one just down here. Otherwise, you can give us a thumbs up, like, subscribe, comment below, let us know what you think and we'll see you next time.